Today, we're in Howe Sound, which is in British Columbia, Canada, and just a short drive northwest of the city of Vancouver. There's a lot of great cold water diving in British Columbia and a wide range of dive sites. But what's interesting is that in a few areas here, believe it or not, there is active reef building occurring in these cold waters. It's not corals that are building the reefs here. Instead, it's sponges. Today we'll be diving the top of a small seamount known as the Halkett Point Deep Reef. Now that name is a bit of a mouthful, so some of the local divers instead have decided to call this dive site SpongeBob. When you make your first dive at SpongeBob, you understand why it's called that. There are yellow cloud sponges everywhere. The primary builder here in this reef-making construction zone is a sponge called the cloud sponge, and also by some, the glass sponge. Most sponges, their structure, the ectoskeleton, is made out of a soft and squishy material. 90% of the world's sponges have this soft and pliable structure that we're all familiar with. Well, these guys are constructed a bit differently. Their ectoskeleton isn't made out of the same stuff. Instead, it's made out of silica. Silica is a primary ingredient used to make glass, and some of my favorite things are made out of glass. The cloud sponge isn't soft at all. Instead, they're very brittle. They kind of feel like styrofoam. It wouldn't take too many boat anchors or careless fishermen or divers to destroy a beautiful reef like this. But what's unique about the glass sponges here is that they are actually building up the bottom over time. Here's how that happens. First, you start out with a barren patch of bottom, perhaps a small pinnacle or gravel pile. Next, a cloud sponge larva from some nearby reef floats by. The little critter lands on the bottom, likes the place, and then decides to take up residence. Over time, nature takes its course, and the sponge eventually dies. The body of the dead sponge falls to the bottom and decays. However, new sponges will take up residence on the backs of their dead buddies. And over many generations of this cycle, they will gradually build up a reef structure, a reef made out of dead, decaying sponge matter. To the more educated types, this type of structure is called a bioherm. Some of the sponge reef bioherms in House Sound have been measured to be as high as 18 meters in height. Now, that's a pretty good sized pile of dead sponges. Around the world, most cloud sponge reefs are found in very deep waters. But what's unique about House Sound is that here, the sponge bioherms are shallow enough to be reached by divers. The dive plan for SpongeBob is an interesting dive too. Because of the fragility of the sponges, no anchor is dropped and there's no permanent mooring buoy used. So we live boat it. The captain tells you when to jump and if you follow his advice, you'll land right on the top of the reef in the heart of a beautiful sponge garden. Sure, there's more to cover, but our time is almost up. It's time for us to surface. Time to pack the dive gear. Time to pack the car. And then drive home. And then wash the dive gear. And clean the camera housing. And edit the video.
and do some narration.